previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who need them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world to its very existence is far from over. into danger. You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there. Jesse, they're falling behind. Actually, you gotta move faster. She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot. We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. We just need to get them moving faster. Bingo! Everybody, get on! Look. 
Everyone follow me! <laughs> Jesse, look out! <laughs> this is awesome! Here. Watch it. Are you trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. Endermen move blocks. It's what they do. Guys, come on. We gotta build a new one, like right now. Come on, faster. We need more blocks. I got some. It. We actually freaking made it. Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you. They told us you'd kicked it. <sighs> Who are you people? It's me, Magnus. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. He doesn't recognize me either. Well, he only just met you. But for him to forget us? <sighs> you, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please. What is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. Doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To 
lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Eligard's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. Don't blame yourself, kid. I, uh, never blame myself for anything. Ma! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one wither storm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So is the command block controlling all three wither storms? Well, uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey! It's okay! Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know! And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. <laughs> Lucas... What are you doing? I told you, I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. But we are helping them. Saving the world saves them too. Isn't that just... kind of abstract? No. The number one thing you can do for them is to make sure we defeat those wither storms. I... I guess you got a point. Okay. I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're alright. Thanks. I'm gonna go check on the horses. <coughs> Whoa, he... How are the horses looking? Tired, but they're okay. Same as the rest of us. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Lucas. Yeah, me too. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Look, Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. over cobblestone might come in handy. Uh, 
I'm not gonna lie, man. But we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? He keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Magnus. Everyone knows Magnus. Magnus? Hmm. And how do I know him exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together, the most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. Really? Yeah, really? You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. Talk a little about Eligard. Eligard, yes. She was, uh, really something. Smart, funny, amazing with Redstone. Heck, <laughs> she was the one person among us who didn't even need the, uh, the... Didn't need the what? You know, uh, never mind. Point is, you liked her. A lot. We all did. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Eligard. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it. This isn't all on you, and you know it. I was in on the deal, too. But I brought that skull back solo. I was Ivor's henchman. Well, I was your henchman. So, based on the transitive property of henchmen. Just know, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No. No way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. I... Petra, you need to keep fighting. There's no time to sit around relaxing in some cave. Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Knew you'd understand. Just give me a little time to catch my breath, and I'll be fine. This is a bad idea, Jesse. Yeah, well, it's Petra's call to make. <laughs> Sorry, Ruben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Ruben! It's my fault. It is your fault. 
Who take responsibility for what, Soren? I did that by l Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Jesse, you shouldn't sneak up on people. Ignore him, Jesse. He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ugh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Trouble is, we've had a few run-ins with Enderman, and they're bad news. Mm, not necessarily. Enough of them, working together, might ignore us and destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Huh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. Isn't it obvious? The Fortress is the key! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, for just in case. What kind of failsafe, exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book! Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. We're not safe anywhere, are we? Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is, we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, thank you. 
Yeah, I haven't actually done it yet. Still, I am so proud to call you my friend. Same here, Jesse. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Jesse, I'm going with him, too. Like you said, I need to keep fighting. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere. And you must do this for them. Well, never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The redstone wrap? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. <laughs>